Welcome to our Algebra 2 presentation over Factory. A problem to solve for an example is x squared equals x plus 30. The first step is to move x and 30 over to the other side so that the equation equals 0. When you do this, you will get x squared minus x minus 30 equals 0. The next step would be to find two numbers that multiply to equal the constant and their sums will equal the number in the middle which would be negative 1 in this case so two numbers would be negative 6 and 5 because those two numbers when multiplied equal negative 30 and add to equal negative 1 so we know um, that negative 6 and 5 can be factors so we're going to plug these two numbers into the equation, like so. And you write them x squared minus 6x and 5x minus 30. You're replacing these two numbers for the middle number. And then the next step would be to simplify these. And you take x out of x squared minus x to get x times x minus 6. And then you could take 5 out of 5x minus 30 to so get 5 times x minus 6. The two factors should both be the same. In this case, they are both x minus 6. Now you're going to add x plus 5, so you get x plus 5 times x minus 6. And now you have to add, you have to move 6 and 5 over to the other side of the equation, so you find out what they equal. So if you move 6 over to the other side of the equation, you get x equals 6 and x equals 5. These are your two roots. The next problem is x squared plus 4x plus 3 is less than 0. This problem already has all of the variables on one side of the equation, but this time it's an inequal inequality. So what you have to do is remove the inequality first and set it as an equation. Then you're going to repeat the last steps from the last problem, factor it. You can tell that 1 and 3 multiply to get 3, and then add to get 4. So these are our two factors. You can write it as x plus 1 and x plus 4. Now you're going to have to set these equations um, equal to 0 to find the roots. So x equals negative 1 or negative 4 are our roots. So now we're going to draw an x-axis and label negative 4 and negative 1 as our points. Since the equation is less than and not less than equal to, we're going to leave the circles as not filled. They're empty circles. Negative 4 will be on the left and negative 1 will be on the right. Now we're going to plug in any number in between the two roots. We're going to plug them in into the inequality, not the equation. So negative 3, 1 plugged in, um, it says negative 3 is less than 0, which is true. So now you know... The solution can be any anywhere between negative 3 and negative 2. Since the circle is hollow and not filled, the answer cannot be negative 4 or negative 1. So the answer to this problem would be negative 3 and negative 2. Now we're going to find the equation given the roots negative 5 and negative 2 thirds. Since you know x equals negative 5 and x equals negative 2 thirds, you're going to move the, both those over. So you get x plus 5 and x plus 2 thirds, which will both equal 0. Now you're going to write them as factors, x plus 5 times x plus 2 thirds. Now you're going to multiply by using foiling, which means you'll multiply x by x, x by 2 thirds, and then 5 by x and 5 by 2 thirds. And then you're going to add like terms, and this will give you the equation x squared plus 17 over 3 plus 3.33. Thank you for tuning in. Now we're going to move on to some examples. Our first example is an easy example. It is x squared plus 5x plus 4 equals 0. We need to find two factors that multiply to make up 4 and add to equal 5. Now you're going to substitute those two factors into the two binomials. So you get x plus 1 and x plus 4. 
Now you're going to set each binomial equal to 0 and solve for x. So you get x equals negative 1 and x equals negative 4. The next example is a medium example. You have to find the equation given two roots, plus 3 and negative 2. So we know that x plus we know that x equals 3 and x equals negative 2. So now we're going to set that equal to 0 and solve for it. So we're going to get x minus 3 times x plus 2. And then once you do that, you're going to FOIL and multiply these two numbers to get the equation x squared minus x minus 6. The next example is a hard example. And it is x squared plus 2x minus 15 is less than 0. Since we have a less than sign, we know it's an inequality. So we set as an equal sign and solve regularly. So we find the two factors are x plus 5 and x minus 3 equals 0. So in other words, are negative 5 and positive 3. So if we make a graph representing the x-axis, this is what the roots would look like. So now we're going to plug in a number in between them, such as 0. We're going to plug it into the inequality and see if it works. 0 would work in this situation, so we know that it can be any, anywhere between negative 4 and 2. It cannot be 3 or negative 5 because it's less than and not less than or equal to. And that's the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching.